Hey everyone, so I have another Disney movie to talk about today and this is 101 Dalmatians. Now this first came out in 1961, so it's a little bit older than what I thought it was. I thought it was like late 70s or something. So it, it's quite nice to know that it's a little bit older and it still is a really, it's a classic, it's a classic Disney movie. People still love it. And um, of course it's all about a litter of Dalmatian puppies and the fact that they are stolen by Jasper and Horace. Jasper and Horace of course being Cruella's sort of people, I don't know the right word to use, tonight. I was going to use a word that is probably inappropriate for um, YouTube, but anyway, um, Jasper and Horace work for Cruella, Cruella de Vil and she orders Jasper and Horace to steal these puppies so that when they're older and they have their spots she can skin them and make coats. That is so incredibly sick, isn't it? Of course Cruella de Vil has these really lavish sort of zebra print and tiger print and puppy print like jackets and coats and bed, bed prints, <coughs> sorry air bubble in my throat. And she is such a sick, sick character, you know, her hair is horrible and wild and she wears this really long white coat and she's always smoking and it's, oh, she's just a hideous character. Um, and then the puppies get stolen and Roger and Anita, that's Pongo and Purdy's, is that the right way, Pongo and Purdy, yes, Pongo and Purdy's owners, of course, Pongo and Pe Purdy being the parents of the litter, are really worried. And they're even more worried when Pongo and Purdy run away. But they run away to go and find their puppies, just as any good parent would do. And they, they, and they have other animals as well who help them, there's other dogs and things, and they have Sergeant Tibbs, who's like a little gingerly brown cat. Sergeant Tibbs is the cutest thing I've ever seen in Disney. He's so sweet. Um, yeah, so they all go along and find these puppies, and they find the puppies, and then they have to rescue them and get them home before Jasper, Horace and Cruella catch them. And I think that's probably my favourite bit, the bit when they're retreating back from Cruella's house. And my all-time favourite scene is the scene, the suit scene as I call it. It's where they're, um, the puppies all have to hide and then they get covered in suit and they're like all completely black. I really do love that so, so much. That is so adorable. Um, obviously, um, I'm not going to talk about this too much in this one, but 101 Dalmatians 2 Scamps Something Adventure, I can't remember what it's called, that will be for a separate video. I absolutely love that one as well and there's a scene where they're sitting in front of the TV and you've got Rolly and Patch, my two favourite ones. I absolutely adore those so much. So the puppies are all really cute but I think my favourite Dalmatian would be Pongo just because I love him. I used to have these um, little Dalmatians like a Pongo and a Purdy, part of the 101 Dalmatians toys and Purdy, Purdy's tail like used to stick out and my dad used to pretend that it was a lead. My dad used to walk this dog along when I was little with a little plastic tail and he thought it was the lead. When you're about four or five and your dad thinks a tail is a lead, it's the most hysterical thing ever. That's just a little anecdote for you. Um, yeah, there's so many great songs in this as well. You have Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. Um, other ones as well, that's the only one that comes to my mind. Um, it's quite early in the morning, my apologies. But yeah, so this is definitely one of my favourite animated movies. The actual, the, the film of it where the real dogs and that is really adorable, but I don't like it as much because it's more heartbreaking to see these puppies in danger whereas if it's an animated one yes I do get choked off but it's not as bad because you know it's a cartoon whereas if it's an animated one how do we know the puppies know what's going on the puppies might actually think they're in danger so the the actual real movie is a little bit more hard to watch but the animated one is brilliant um please feel free to leave comments and things and let me know if you have any specific Disney movies which you'd like me to review I have a, re a review quest a few requests in so I'll try and get around to them as soon as possible um, but obviously if there's any you'd like, I will do the ones which are most popular. Um, but yeah, so please feel free to leave comments and things. That's it for now, so I will see you all next time. Bye!